Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War with your host, Shenra. This is Denmark on the, Teutan on the Teutonic campaign map. And uh, our wonderful general here, Ingeborg the Mauler, has been harassed non-stop here. Lithuania has been at peace with everyone for a long enough time to just build up and build up and build up. So they have, you know, it's full stack there, full stack marching over here, another full stack here, half stack here, probably a full stack here. <laughs> they have a ton of units. They probably have more guys coming this way too. They have an absolute crap ton of units. And, uh, yeah, they're sieging us here in Donshig. That's fine. And so they've thrown three armies in a row at Ingeborg the Mauler, and we've won two of those, and now we have to fight this third battle. Guiltine's chosen, they have these war hammers, which are ridiculously strong. We've got attack of 20, defense of 24. These guys are awesome. I wish I had them. Frightened nearby enemy infantry, yeah. Um, and then Samo Gideon Axeman. I think we have something very similar to that. The Sami Axemen are probably very similar to these guys. In any case, we have to fight this third battle with Ingeborg the Mauler. So, without any delay, let's get to the battle map and see if we can actually defend here. I'll just pause at this. I'll just pause right now, and then uh, I'll organize all my units, and then we'll see if we can't win somehow with with nine lancers. And our general lost half of his lancers in last map, and that sucks. See you guys in a second. All right, we're all grouped together. I didn't even realize it, but we seem to have lost one of our Norse archers, or was a peasant archer. We lost something entirely. I guess the peasants. They're just gone. That sucks. But uh, otherwise, we are in decent shape. We just have very few numbers. I mean, you know, 33 guys here, 24 guys here, 35. We're just really depleted. We've lost so many guys. So let's start this battle and see what they have. It's probably a massive amount that we can't deal with. Yeah, it's it's a lot. That's what she said. But we are defending again, so they will probably just come at us. Yep, they're coming. And uh, it looks like they've all they've put all of their horse archers on one side, so we're going to move our general to the other side. Because that's what we lost most of our cav to. We lost almost all of our cav in the last fight to just missile spam. It was just a ton of missiles that we couldn't deal with. Uh, missiles being, you know, um, crossbow bolts and uh, arrows. So let's move our general to this side and just get him out there quickly. And same thing with our archer cab. I think we're going to have him go over here and just harass people. But besides that, we're going to stick to the general plan. Go cab, go. And we're going to try to hold out against this onslaught of enemies. You know, 60, 60, 80. Oh my god, that's 80 units in there. All this missile cab. Missile. Yeah, they're just going to run up to us and shoot. So we need to turn off skirmish mode so that they won't run away. Oh, looks like we found some more missile cab over here hiding in the trees. We did. Missile cab. Missile cab. All right, so that's fine. We're shooting at them, and they are probably going to start shooting at us very soon here. Do we outnumber them? We do not. They have 80 and t they have 103. We have 50. So they have twice as many missile cab as we do right here. And we can't really attack them with our general because we'll just, you know, lose a lot of guys. So our general needs to see if we can't get behind them. This could be suicide, but this is probably the last battle we're ever going to fight with this army anyway. So let's get our general back. Um, just come over here rapidly. And hopefully we can get hidden in the trees. And if that's the case, we might have a chance of surprising them from behind. For surprising their main line of units from behind. We're not going to be able to surprise the missile cavalry because they already see us. But our missile cav... Um, I don't really want to fight their missile cav straight on. So why don't you fall back? No. Might as well go with our general. You can sort of su provide a suppressing fire. Maybe try to help them get through. So our normal archers are already shooting. We're shooting the missile cab here. And they're going to stop right in front of us and start shooting like that. They're throwing spears. It's fine. I don't care. They're shooting. Whatever. We're losing a lot of guys. But what can you do? You know? If we uh, take somebody like Swordsman and go run at them, which we will, 
they will simply run away. And they'll shoot our uh, our swordsmen while they run away. Thankfully, our guys are actually pretty... Uh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? You engaged something out here? What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck did you engage out here? Aw, oh, you're engaging the fucking missile cab out here. God damn it. Um, I mean, it's probably a bad thing you're getting shot at and you're engaging this cavalry here. Goddamn trees, get out of the way. Well, we'll toot our horn and try to kill these guys, I guess. See if we can win this battle. We're losing a lot of guys, but... Our general is our general, you know, he's, he's badass, right? You guys need to run away, so go to the corner of the map here. Alright, well this is going to happen no matter what's going on, so... Let's go back and check the main battle just for a second, because I don't think anyone... No, no one's doing anything. Oh, our dude's actually caught up to them. Nice. All right, so we're going to try to... Send, they're, they're probably going to try to disengage, but we're going to send one of our rear line to come up and attack as well and see if we can't catch them while they are completely out, unorganized over here. Beyond that, you can see some missiles in the air. That's pretty fucking cool that the missiles stay in the air. But what's not cool is I can see they're about to hit our dudes. <laughs> and they're going to hit these guys right here. Um, let's bring you four dudes up to... Uh, you guys still coming? No, they're still coming. We'll let them get a little closer. Actually, no, we won't. We'll take you guys. No. Do, 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 and we'll move you up in front of our archers because the time is of the essence at the moment. And we'll move the rest of you guys up right behind the archers, like right there. Go. Because they're still coming. I want to be able to attack properly. Like here. Yeah, spearmen are coming. So we're getting our guys up front. Good, good. We got their perfect timing. Now our rear row is going to come forward even farther. How's our general doing? Toot your horn. We are killing them. Oh my god, they're down to six guys. Wow, go general. Holy shit. Nice. Our general's tired now, but hey, he killed a whole fuck little archers. Well, missile archer. Or horse archers, whatever. Oh, I can't even see what the shit is over here. Kill them. Motherfuckers. Those guys are retreating, that's good. And tons of arrows are flying. The battle is very much in our favor. If we it remain is? true and steadfast, victory will be ours. How is it very much in our favor? It looks pretty even. We've lost 29%, they've lost 29%, it's pretty even. Oh, you might as well come throw your lives away at these guys. Okay, we're going to move forward again. Uh, you guys head... We'll take... Two, no, not you. You and you are going to come at them. Everybody else, just stay where you are. Keep fighting. This is a big old fight right here. All right, general, come over here. The enemy general lies dead. Nice, we, we killed their general. The to hell. Very nice. This is captain and whoever, because they don't put generals in their armies. That's there's a rule against putting generals in the armies. But uh, they still have a lot of horse horse archers, which we can't do anything about. They're just they're just picking us off as we run after them. So. There we go. Come catch him. Come catch some of them. Nice. Yeah. 
Take that. I know the routing. Cool. Very nice. This is the result I wanted. All right, everybody, just chase, chase whatever's not routing. We need to make them route. Don't hide in the trees. Kill them. So with their general dead, they're really afraid now. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They've lost a lot of guys. We've lost a ton of guys as well. So. Nothing to brag about here, man. I got a text message. Hold on. Okay. So one of my bosses is asking me to come in for some extra hours. Hooray! But uh, it's not right now, so I'm going to keep on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Keep this fight going. Kick some... Uh, kick some ass. That's the idea, right? out of arrows yet? No, they have tons of arrows. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be cool, ours. They're, they're, they're doing something. Keep doing it, whatever it is. Come on, General, dude. You're like my last hope. What the hell is this? Oh, it's one dude. Oh my god, this is my my two feudal knights. They are seriously killing people. I love it. Two guys. Can you catch them, maybe? Catch them. Please. Most of the guys are gonna get off the off the map successfully, but we'll try to catch whatever we can. Make sure you're not shooting it. All right, we're finally catching stuff. This is good. You guys can just stop. Don't, don't tire yourselves out, guys. You're not gonna catch anything. Uh, what's this? Is it a soldier? Yeah, it's one dude. Alright, we get to kill him. Anyway, we'll uh, pause here and come back when we are done with this battle. Because this is pretty much over. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. We're just shooting at the last of these fuckers. And they're almost out. Should do it, I think. By the Lord, yep. our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember we this day 50%. remember it as a day of our hey, most I glorious lost, victory. I thought we were going to lose the whole damn battle, but we actually won. We killed 600 guys and we imprisoned 270. So, nice. And we're going to slaughter those 270, of course. Because fuck them. They deserve nothing less than That's three check. victories in a row for that guy. Oh. Yeah, four is not going to happen. And we can't retreat because we already retreated this turn. We're dead. This is going to be our death. Oh my god. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that guy's a melee, so eight mounted archers. Melee. Melee. Nine mounted. Nine mounted archers and one. Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three, four, 
five. Nine mounted archers and five cavalry. So they have 14 cavalry units and one, two, three, four, five, six. Six non cavalry units. Well, okay. But this will have to wait till next time. Look at this. Our guy is now the 10 star commander. I don't know what he was before we started these fights, but that's three fight, three battles in a row, and he's gone out to a 10 star commander. But there's no way we're going to win this. Not even a chance in fucking hell. So we'll have to wait for next time, though, because we're out of time. So thanks for joining me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this series of battles we've been getting. I mean, this is pretty fucking epic. This guy, Ingborg the Mahler. You know, three gold Chevron General. He's 10 stars now. Holy shit. On the battlefield, this man's will is always realized. He is a true master warfare. Yeah, well, a true master warfare can't fight four battles in one turn and hope to survive. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave some comments, uh, suggestions. I always love to hear you guys chit chat about whatever. Uh, ratings are nice, and subscribe if you want to see more of my bullshit, because I do have a lot of bullshit to share with you guys. But damn, all this fighting around Konigsberg has been pretty fucking epic, so I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. We probably should have fought one of these battles with Gustav the Scarred, but uh, he'll be the next line of defense, since Ingeborg is probably going to die in this battle. We'll have to rely on Gustav after that. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave some comments, ratings, suggestions, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.